My name is Anna Kleptova. I'm a managing partner of Clevin Vera International Law Firm and we specialize in attending legal needs of international clients in Spain. Today I will talk about the golden visas in Spain. And um, here I will try to explain, uh, I, will, I will try to answer the uh, most commonly asked questions that we receive from our clients who are applying for this type of visa. First of all, um, it's, the correct term to call it would be the investor's visa, it is meant for, for investors in Spain, but the term golden is so common in the international market that we all call it like this now. Investor's visa is certainly one of the most attractive ways to get your Spanish residency. It is fast, it is flexible, uh, it is easily renewable and you can renew it even if you haven't spent more than six months in Spain as it uh, is usually required for any other, um, any, any other residence permit. The most commonly used form is the investment in real estate. And here, you, uh, I'm sure you know, that the minimum amount is 500,000 euros. And this amount must be free of any mortgages or any charges or any taxes or any other fees. You can have mortgages, but on top of that amount. And this, uh, this amount is per, per applicant. And uh, you can buy one property or several properties. It can be residential or commercial and it can be located anywhere in Spain. And you are allowed to rent these properties and in fact it's one of the most common cases. Very often we are asked, uh, what if let's say we are three brothers, we can join our assets together and we can make this investment in Spain and we want to get our residency. Can we do that? Um, unfortunately, this amount is required for each main applicant, for each adult. Uh, that means that um, you can bring your family members, but they must be in your direct family unit. That means uh, it can be your spouse, it can be your, they can be your children, uh, underage children or dependent children, and your dependent parents. You need to make the investment first. Uh, that is to say, first you buy, then you apply. You are allowed to apply for a provisional visa, which will be valid for six months, but it is rarely used in practice. And um, normally we apply when you already formalized your uh, purchase through a notary and it is already registered in your name. Usually if you are outside of Spain, you apply through the Spanish consulate of your country of, of residence. But if you are in Spain, let's say with your visa-free period or with a Schengen visa, let's say as a tourist, uh, it is possible to apply directly from Spain. And um, initially, these visas, when you apply outside of Spain, they are issued for one year. But if you are applying in Spain for a residence permit directly, it will be issued uh, for two years initially. And in Spain, such applications, we submit such applications online. So you don't need to spend your time booking appointments or, or going to, to any immigration office. Golden visas is certainly uh, one of the fastest ways to get your Spanish residency. When you apply in the consulate, the visas are issued normally within 10 days. And if you apply in Spain, the, the, the residence permit uh, is supposed to be issued in 20 days. Uh, but I'm sure that by now you are already used to the Spanish word mañana. And you know that in Spain everything works a little bit slower uh, that you could have expected initially. In one of the next videos, we will talk about the application process. And um, even though golden visas are usually rather straightforward to apply, there are some points that you need to uh, be careful with in order to, uh, for your application to succeed without any delays. I hope you find this information useful and uh, we wish you all the best in your investment plans. And if you are thinking of applying for a golden visa and need additional advice on the process, please feel free to contact us now. Thank you.